Turnaround time or outage time is always one of the most stressful periods for the instrumentation and controls team. There just never seems to be enough time to complete all of the required testing between SIL requirements and process instrumentation and vibration. So in this video, I'd like to show you a new innovation on our model 9100D portable shaker table that will help you streamline at least your vibration testing requirements. Hi, my name is Mike Scott, industrial product manager at the Modal Shop. And our model 9100D portable shaker table was a very innovative at its, at its release. It was the first product that had closed loop control. Now we've added another innovation called CalRoute that allows you to program a custom test into the calibrator so that repetitive testing can be completed quickly and easy. Picture all of your critical equipment testing the vibration alerts and alarms at multiple running speed and making sure they're working in a very fast and easy test process. In this video, I'm going to show you a test and simulate that experience using our 9100D. We're going to test uh, using one of our vibration alarm products at 1800 CPM and 3600 CPM and we'll confirm vibration alarms that will occur at a half inch per second peak and one inch per second peak. So for the purpose of this demonstration, let's pretend that my Vibe Alarm, this green product here, is my monitoring system inside the plant. And I have an alert and alarm threshold programmed into that unit at a half inch per second and one inch per second with a three second time delay. And let's pretend that um, my accelerometer made by IMI sensors is the accelerometer that protects the machine. So to use a shaker in manual mode, I have the speed at 6,000 CPM. I would increase my amplitude until it crosses my alarm threshold. I would wait for my vibe alarm to catch up and then make sure that the alert triggers as you can see there with the alert light triggering. And then I would move to the alarm state and make sure that that part triggered. So it doesn't take a lot of time in manual mode because we have the closed loop control and we hold the speed steady as the amplitude changes and vice versa. But for a repetitive test, there's a much easier way to do it with our new CalRoute feature. So let's say we wanted to test the vibration monitoring system on this machine at two different running speeds. Let's say it, tests, it runs at 1800 CPM and 3600 CPM. I've programmed a test called CalRoute into my USB and activated it on the calibrator. And now my first test point is 0.25 inches per second peak at 1800 CPM. And I can see that my vibration alarm is correct, 0.25, 0.26 inches per second. And now to move from point to point, all I need to do is click the frequency dial one click and it moves to my next pre-programmed point, which is 0.55 inches per second peak. You can see that the vibe alarm is reading accurately and the alert has tripped as I waited out the time delay. Next point, just move the frequency dial one position. It automatically jumps to my next pre-programmed point, which is 1.05, and the alarm threshold has also triggered. Now I have these alarms set to be non-latching, so here's my next test point. We're going to run the same test at 3600 CPM, so I'm going to check the vibration monitoring equipment on this machine at two different running speeds. 1800, we just completed, we know it works. Now we're testing it at 3600 at 0.25 inches per second. My reading is correct and my alert and alarm are turned off because I haven't eclipsed the threshold. At 0.55 inches per second, my alert is going to trigger after a three second delay and it just did so. And I can see that my readout is uh, still correct, although lower than it was at 1800 CPM at 0.53. And my last test point, again, one click of the frequency dial moves from each pre-programmed test point to the next. And my final test point is 1.05 inches per second peak. You can see the alarm trip, but I'm very close to not passing because I'm at 1.01 .01 inches per second. So I'm reading a little bit low, fluctuating between one and 1.01 .01 inches per second. So I was just able to run through a six point test very quickly with six clicks of the frequency dial, as you can see. 
First test point, 0.25 at 1800, 0.55 at 1800, 1.05 1 at 1800, and then all those same amplitudes at 3600. 0 0.25, 0 0.55, and 1.05. The shaker automatically settles in. If I want to change things up and test a proximity probe, for example, all I need to do is press frequency, enter into the test settings menu, enter into the Cal route menu, load a new test from my USB, and right now the shaker will read the USB. It can read up to six files off the USB, and I have another test for proximity probes here, which I can click on and choose to activate by hitting yes. This test is now active. If I spin the amplitude dial, nothing will happen. I'm locked into a proximity probe test at from one to 10 mils peak to peak, stopping every one mil at 3600 CPM. And you can see the operation is the same as before. One click of the frequency dial will move me from one to two to three mils to four. Now my Bible alarm is reading. It's not set up to run in mils. I just want to show how easy it is to move from test to test. And as, as you can see, the proximity probe test, five mils, six mils, seven mils, very easy to do. You don't have to um, adjust the amplitude dial uh, to run this test. The shaker automatically adjusts to the pre-programmed test points, saving the instrumentation and controls technician a lot of time. To exit out of this mode and go back to manual mode, I just hit test settings go into the Cal route menu, deactivate the route, and now if I back out, I'm in manual mode, I can change my uh, amplitude scales, I can spin the dial to increase or decrease the amplitude, and I can change the speed as well. I'm back in manual control very quickly and very easily. So with our portable shaker table model 9100D and our Cal route option, technicians can quickly go through a four point, six point, eight or even 10 point vibration test simply by clicking the frequency dial to move from point to point. With streamlines the test time dramatically, helps you get through your vibration testing that's required per API 670 and helps your technicians move on to other critical tasks during the outage. For more information on this product, I invite you to visit our website at www.modalshop.com. Thanks for watching.